Hello everyone, so I've just recently had to use the recover save feature and I'd never used it before and it's actually a really useful tool in The Sims 4. So if you go into load game and you have this little disk and it's got recover save. Now it's very useful if you think your save file might be corrupted and you can go back to a previous save file. The reason I use the recovered save is because I have my stereotype challenge and I'm busy with the heartbreaker and after the big love struck updates I thought everything was working fine and I thought everything was fixed and I would be able to record a video so I recorded my stereotype challenge the heartbreaker and I just nothing worked <laughs> He's supposed to be a heartbreaker and all his relationships just went into the red. He couldn't make any new relationships and I just wasn't happy with the video I recorded so I'd obviously recorded and saved my game and I thought oh no what am I going to do now and I'd actually forgotten about this feature because I've never ever used it but if you make sure you're in the green on a save file so there's a green block around and you click on this recover save you can go as far back as five saves ago so i was able to go back and recover the previous save before i recorded the video after the update so <laughs> i was glad i was able to do that and you can even do it with very very old save files i mean this is probably my oldest and if you click on recover save it's you can go back as far as as i said as far as five saves so all you have to do is just click on you you kind of have to have an idea of which you know where you are and which one you want to recover so you just click on recover and it will ask you if you want to recover the save and you click yes and it will generate a new save file for you and it will be called recovered and then you can just rename it to whatever let's try again there we go so that's a very old save file but i'm actually just going to delete that because i don't i don't need it so yeah it's a very useful feature you can even groundhog day your sims you can keep on going back and see if their lives change <laughs> so that's all it is just make sure you're on the green block and just recover save and make sure you know where you want to recover and just click on recover and you'll click OK and then you can just rename your save file to whatever you want to name it and it will keep the original so you don't have to worry about losing the original file.